for sure. I guess, you know, I guess overcoming stuff is part of that journey. And, and when you have overcome, it's not that everything goes smooth in your life. It's, it's the way you overcome things and how you go afterwards is it really matters, I guess. And, and that's, you know, you, you've found that again by overcoming those hurdles, I guess. And I mean, you've just come so far now, which is, which is really cool. So you've got to artificially put them in as well. A lot of the time now, like I think in the past it was there, like you, you got to go hunt or you starve, like mm. come home with food or don't come home. Like, you know, like True. there were times where, you know, and it's not far back in human history. Like mm. all of our ancestors knew how to slaughter animals and, you know, like up until very, very recently, like, that was that was what you did like even if you were hurting them and stuff like times the times have changed very quickly and i think that change has made it hard to live in the modern time like you have to or you have to invent challenges for yourself yeah. or you're going to feel like you're not challenged and then and then within that you lose self belief and you know you lose your your power in the world and your ability to you know ultimately it's you know suicide rates and depression you know depression drug sales and those sorts of things showing that it's it's very hard to live you know for in the in the modern world i believe this is you know at the heart of it and even like you know creating a podcast like i i've been through this challenge i haven't done it as well as you guys that <laughs> like that in itself like you manifest the challenge for yourself that you can go well yeah we you know we're doing this thing like and mm. you, you you solve a lot of different problems around you know, planning and scheduling and, and now you've got this you've invented this thing in your lives that yeah. is a you know it can be a like it's a big thing to do it's a challenging thing to do it can be you know are we going to nail this and all the different self-doubt and questions that come with you know creating anything but if you don't do those things if you don't launch into it if you just sit back and think oh yeah like probably don't want to listen anyway i won't do it you know, or, you know, like who cares if I can lift a bit more weight or who cares if I get my body composition a bit better this year or who cares if I start a business or whatever the thing is, right? If you don't put those artificial things, you know, challenge into your life because they are artificial compared to the primal thing of like, yeah. either kill this bear or this bear kills me and yeah. one of us is going to feel satisfied at the end of this encounter. <laughs> like those, those situations very rarely arise now. So uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm a huge believer in, in that sort of process of mm. whatever it is that you can, you've kind of feel an itch of like, I probably should start a podcast, like talking to some cool people or, you know, whatever it is that excites you guys about it, you know, why, why you did it. You know, it's even the connection that you have to each other and that sort of thing. Like yeah. there's so many benefits that come out of it when you take action. Mm. Um, but it's, it's so easy just to sort of sit back and think, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it, do it one day. Like, uh, I'm not sure when that day will be, but, uh, you know, I'll do it one day. And that's, I think that's, yeah, that's a big part of what my life is about now is about helping people just to just do it. Like take, take that next step, that thing that you, you think you'd like to do, like start that now. Like don't, don't worry about getting it all organized. People think they're going to do good things on their own because they see that. And that's kind of how things are portrayed, but mm. it's, it's never on it's, people who do great things. It's never on their own. Like one way or another, it's, it's about serving. It's about the people who help along the way. Um, yeah. Totally. And, and to, just before we get on to real uh, movement, a um, couple of things that you said there, which, you know, lots of stuff I've kind of read about and thought about a lot lately, and also just reading some of your posts on Insta, just talking about like family and, you know, family now is like, it's kind of very singular and isolated. It's just you and your family looking after your own kids. And, um, you know, that's actually um, also a recent thing. You know, like we, yeah. we used to be in tribes and we all used to sort of look after each other's kids. And, and it's also weird, like, or it, it seems weird because when I speak to some of my friends that are from like Eastern Europe or uh, India and stuff, their parent, they still live with their parents and stuff. And you're like, mm. that's weird. Why do you do that? But actually, this is how we have always lived. Do you know what I mean? It's so looked down on now, right? Like it's embarrassing to say, you live with your parents. Like even once you're, as soon as you finish school or finish uni, it's like, if you live with your parents, you're a loser. Like that's how it's portrayed in movies and sitcoms and whatever. And our culture is like, you've got to get out of the house. But yeah, I think the modern family, it's, it's a difficult, difficult uh, construct. Like not having cousins and, you know, aunts and uncles and grandparents around to help look after the kids um, and to support the relationship. Like, I think it's very difficult for a man and wife 
you know, to, to stay together. And, you know, if you look at like sex at dawn and those sorts of things, like mm. a lot of people are questioning monogamous, monogamous relationships and those sorts of things. But when you put that in the context of sole responsibility over, you know, multiple other beings and, and not being close to family, like it's, it's no wonder I, both parents working, all these sorts of things. Like I, I don't, I can't understand even how any families stay together, you know, and most yeah. of them don't like the divorce rates are so high and, yeah. and it's just, it's just not right. Cause then the kid ends up with like, well, who's even, you know, who's even connected to me and why do I only see him every now and then? And, and they have even less support because they have one parent and maybe a, you know, surrogate or someone, you know, it's, it's, there are families that are super connected and that their cousins and everyone all live close together, but they're, you know, it's less and less often. And it's, it's you guys as well, right? Like you South Africans, one's in London, one's on the Gold Coast, yeah. you know, everyone's just moving around the world now. And it's, I guess one of the consequences of, of this global kind of lifestyle. And it's great. Like there's so much good stuff that comes out of travel and I love travel and, but yeah, everyone living all over the place now for work and it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's a big, big, you know, wicked problem, as they say. Like, you, it's not one that we're going to solve today, Gareth. But there's, there's certainly a lot against the modern family, and I think same sort of thing, process-wise. Like, there has to be a lot of conscious effort to keep a relationship together, um, to keep, yeah, to keep a family together, to to you know, and try to actually have some of that support as well where where we can. Like, my mother-in-law is coming out again um, during January, so I can go on the roosters preseason camp because otherwise I, I wouldn't be able to go um, with the animals and stuff that we have now. But even like leaving my wife with the two kids for a week, like it's just not right. Like mm. it's fine if the, everyone else is around, if the uncles and aunties and cousins mm. and, you know, grandparents and, you know, it's no big deal to go out on a mission, but uh, yeah. Waking at dawn, packing the gear, September tour and up in the air. Stop at the toll, digging for change, snowy Cape Fold Mountain.